All right, Shalom. Kohala Yimla, Yahawa, Bashim, Yahawa Shai, Bashim, Raka Kadash, Mashana, Kabawadium, Lahazakwanium, Shal, Gadawa, Rakab, Shalom, Bakhayim, Akim, Shalom, Laha Bakhayim, Akim, Wagwatium, Shalom, Ahab, Wabawarakim. All right, that is to say from the Paleo Hebrew to the English, all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahawa, who the world innerly knows as God, whose name is He is or He exists in the Paleo Hebrew, Bahashim means in the name, Yahawa Shai is the name of the Son. All right, who the world calls Jesus Christ, whose name means He Deliverer or He Salvation. Bashem Rakhakwadash means in the name Holy Spirit. Okay. Then I said double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Okay. The, the ones who taught us the truth, man, who rule well. All right. Then I said, um, Shalom, Laha Bakhayim Akim Wagwati, which is peace to the election, brothers and sisters. And Shalom. Ahab wa Bawarakim, which is peace, love, and blessings. All right. Kaya here back with another video. I do the spirit, and you know, I'm basically just, you know, gonna gonna do this, you know, concerning um something that's been afflicting my spirit for a while, concerning uh, idol worship, man. All right, among our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans. All right, the uh, the Israelites, man. All right, who descend from the twelve sons of of Jacob, later named Israel. Okay, because we are the Lord's true chosen people, man. All right, and us, us going off as a people worshiping other gods is the reason why why we're in, uh, on punishment right now, man. Okay, you can read about that all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament because we went up and served other gods. All right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, the Heavenly Father, all right, has, has put us on punishment an innumerable amount of times, man. That's why we was always in and out of different captivities because we always we, we kept going off. We kept serving other gods, the gods of the other nations, man. And the scriptures say what? Their gods are no gods. All right? What's the word? God just means power. Going uh, going into the, uh, the the Hebrew word Allah. All right? Which, like I said, I'm, I'm going to go into it, you know? And um, another part of, you know, what's been afflicting my spirit is this whole Islam thing, man. Because you got a lot of jakes. You got a lot of jakes that are joined to Islam. All right? Before, it was by reason of force. Now it's it's by re and, and through that force. Now it's by reason of of willingly going to it. Okay, you got a lot of Jakes who's involved in that Islam shit, man. But but they get their customs from us. They get their customs from the Hebrews. You know, which like I said, through the spring of probably how about Shemash? I'm gonna go over, man. All right. And uh, just just real quick, I, I, just a little testimony, man. I, I had um, you know, I'm outside today. It's a beautiful day outside up in uh, Albany. Things of that nature, well, as beautiful as it could get, right? But um, I'm outside. I, I was going for a walk. I was, you know, looking for a, for a, for a place to um that was suggested to me, you know, to to, to buy this this oil that I that I that I use, man. You know, which which you know the brother that I used to camp with, he had you know put me onto it. So I went to the spot that was recommended to me to go to to go you know buy the oil and stuff like that. Long story short, I couldn't get it today and stuff like that. But um, it was it was. It was a it was an Arabic mosque, okay? It was it was a it was a Muslim mosque and things of that nature, you know, that little place of worship. You know, I went in there, you know, I had to take my shoes off. They had the, you know, like big, you know, decorated carpet and things of that nature. And they, they had uh they, they had a you know like a like a small library, you know, full of books and things of that nature. All you know, of course written in Arabic. Or whatever the case, and um, I'm asking, you know, the Arabs around, I'm asking, which, uh, those Arabs, they go back to Ishmael, all right? Ishmael is the so-called Arabs. So I'm asking around, just like, hey, like, you know, do you guys sell this, this, this oil, so on and so forth? And they're just like, oh, you're looking for somebody else, or whatever. I was at the right location, but somebody else was selling it. It wasn't them. And then I go outside, and I see this Jake, all right, this, this, this Jake who's involved in the Muslim customs. He has a fucking, he has an orange beard, an orange colored beard, and, and he's an old head, man. And he's wearing the, um, I forgot what it was called, but he's, he's wearing one of the hats, man. You know, one of, one of the caps that they wear and shit like that. It, it wasn't a turban, it was, it was, I forgot what the hell it was called, Salakia. But he was wearing one of those, one of those little caps or whatever. So I'm, I'm talking to the Jake, I'm just like, hey, like, you know, are you selling this oil or whatever the case? He's just like, uh, nah, but I'll be selling it, you know, tomorrow from ah, ah, ah to ah, ah, ah. And so on and so forth. So, um, there wasn't no deep conversation. I'll just, you know, just be cordial, man. Ain't nothing wrong with shopping in your store with the people of the world. But I'm just, I'm just trying to keep it cordial. I'm just trying to buy some oil. 
and so on and so forth. But you know, the point that I want to draw from that is that you got a lot of our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans involved in these 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 customs, okay, of the heathen. You know, and once again, that is exactly why we keep ending up on punishment. All right, because Jake is fucking hard-headed, bro. And here it is, because I'm not too far away from the individual, or from that from that mosque. I'm not too far away, man. Okay, I'm 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 I'm, I'm right. I'm like right down the fucking street, man. But but you got Jake just just so damn hard-headed and stiff-necked. They don't want to. They don't want to uh, listen to the to the words of the scriptures and where and where you know all of these religions and things of that nature you know uh, originally come from. Okay, and and why it's here. And things of that nature because like i said the, the, the whole islam thing a lot of that came from from the scriptures man a lot of that came from the scriptures so these other nations all right using the scriptures to create their own religions okay in their own little you know places of worship and things of that nature serving other gods man all right the, the idea of it came came from yahweh 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 shai and he's the only one in true power all right yahweh okay he is and none else beside him. All right? Matter of fact, let me go ahead and get this. Let me start off in the book of Jeremiah. All right, because once again, our, our people are very damn stiff-necked, man. Okay, we have our own culture. We have our own heritage to, to, to you know, to, to conform to. Okay, to subscribe to. Okay? To be educated on. We have our own uh, customs, man. Not this Islam shit. Not this Hinduism shit. All right, not this Confucianism, Buddhism shit. All right. Let me get this in the book of Jeremiah. Okay. Chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Okay, because what? Pursuant to Amos, chapter 3, verse 1, of all the families of the earth, we're the only ones that the Heavenly Father knows. We're the only ones that the Heavenly Father Yahweh who, who, is, who he has ever, you know, uh, corrected us in, all right? He's the only, we're the only ones that, that he's ever, you know, uh, gave, you know, the, the, the covenants and the agreements to and the testaments to, the promises, okay? We are the only ones, man. It's, it, it wasn't given to every damn body, you know? The scriptures talk about when the Most High divided the sons of Adam, all right? He chose a peculiar, particular people for himself, not the whole damn world, bro, all right? But going back to Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1, it says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. All right, Yashar Allah. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yeah, the heathen is talking about what? The other nations. Okay? The ones that the Most High, you know, did create and, and did bless, okay, bountifully, you know, as far as them, you know, waxing uh, uh, mighty as, as nations and things of that nature, th yes, the Heavenly Father did create them, but the Heavenly Father is not dealing with them like he's dealing with us. All right? We are the Lord's true chosen people. And the Lord said what? Follow not the way of the heathen, man. Don't go off serving these other gods. Okay? Don't learn their customs. Like, the, what is it? We got Mother's Day coming up. That's not of the, de that's not of the scriptures, bro. Mother's Day is not of the scriptures. Easter is not of the scriptures, which the Easter, Easter is, you know, really based around the Passover, but what? It's inaccurate. That's, it's a pagan custom. All right? East, the word Easter doesn't even exist in our original language, which is the Paleo-Hebrew, the Lashon Kodash. All right? That doesn't even exist in our tongue, bro. Okay? Measuring our times based on the sun. We're not supposed to be, you know, basing our times around the solar calendar, bro. But what? That's what these other nations do. And by reason of force and now willingness, or uh, willing, willingly, all right, because what? We're given to Stockholm Syndrome and things of that nature. Now, now we're going off willingly following these other gods, man, that are no gods. But we have our own god, bro. Okay? But once again, we are, we are peculiar people. To the heavenly father just to prove that let me get this real quick and i'll be coming back to this book but let me go ahead and get this real quick in the book of exodus
There's a book of Exodus chapter 19, verse 5. It says, Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine. All right, so there you go, man. Okay? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he said, All the earth is mine, man. All the resources, all the people, the lands, okay, the animals, everything, man. Everything is mine. I created it all, you know, by way of the Alahayim. Which is the powers, man, the angels. Okay? The Heavenly Father created all of these things. And what? He, he wants his acknowledgement, man. He wants his respect. Which is totally fair. This is the, 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 the most omnipotent power in the universe, man. He is. Yahweh, he is, or he exists. Okay? He wants his respect, bro. Mainly from his own people. He's going to get his respect from everybody in due time and due season. By way of Yahweh Shai, the son... Okay, but, but what? He he wants his respect, man, and he's going to get it. Okay? But going back to the point, going back to the scripture, Exodus 19 and 5, it says, Now, therefore, if you obey my voice indeed, are right, talking about what? Talking about the, the law, statutes, and the commandments. All right? Knowing the faith. All right? Having the faith. Okay? That he is. You know, that his, that his son is salvation. Okay? It says... Now, therefore, if you obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine. Okay, so what? The Lord said, if, if we if we keep the law, statutes, and the commandments, and if we obey his voice and his word, okay, that we're going to, you know, remain that peculiar treasure unto him. Because we was the only ones that the law, statutes, and the commandments was given to. Okay? We, we're, we're the peculiar people, man. That's why you got Jake. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we thrive, we excel, we excel, okay? We excel at, at, at anything that, that, that comes into our hands, man. Mathematics, okay? Literature, you know, entertainment, whatever it is, man. You name it. Jake, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we, we dominate, bro, all right? Because we are the, we are the princes of the power, Yashar Allah, Israel. Yashar Allah. Yah meaning he, Shah meaning prince, and Allah meaning power. All right, we are the princes of the power, bro. Okay? So just, you know, uh, concluding the point that the what? We are the true chosen people, man. You know? But let me go ahead and get this. And, and these other nations, pursuant to Psalms, the 83rd chapter, these other nations, okay? They don't they don't delight in the fact that the Lord is only dealing with, with, with us and us only. Okay, these other nations, they, they, they hate that shit, man. They hate that the Lord is only dealing with, with one nation of people on the whole entire inhabitable earth. They hate it, you know. That's why Psalms the 83rd chapter talk about how, how they took counsel uh, to, to bring us out of power. All right, they conspired against us to bring us out of power, man, and that's exactly what they did, you know. And just not to give all the credit to them, but what? The Heavenly Father did it to us by, by the hand of these other nations. I'll say it like that. Okay? But, you know, going into the point and what this, this video is going into, all right, I, I wanted to talk about, you know, one, one nation of people in particular are who, 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 you know, model themselves or try to model themselves after us, okay, but the Lord is not dealing with them. And that's, that's the nation of Ishmael, the so-called Arabs, all right? Yashimai Allah, Okay? But let me get this real quick in the book of our uh, Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. It says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. Okay, so there you go. And that's straight to the point. All right, faith comes by hearing, man. All right, because brothers in this truth, you know, when, when, we, when we wake up to the fact that we're Israelites, all right, and we, we, we only have one God and it, we don't, we're not supposed to serve multiple gods. When you wake up to the fact that Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, is ruling over the world right now, okay? When we learn that we're not black, all right, we, we actually have a, a, a true heritage, okay? The best heritage, okay? Then what? You, you, you're supposed to receive that faith, man. You, you, you're, suppo you're supposed to, you know, be enlightened. You're supposed to glow up from that, man, okay? You're supposed to act accordingly, all right? So faith cometh by hearing. And then it says, in hearing by the word of the Most High. Okay? And the word of the Most High is what? Is, is the scriptures right here. You know? The book of the law. 
the book of the prophets. Okay, this was meant for us, Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is our book. Okay, and, and it takes faith to, to believe that, man. Despite Christianity, our right, plantation Christianity, okay, and all of the harmful effects that are, that are brought upon our people, you know, by, by, by reason of those, those colonizers, are right, from Europe, and things of that nature, you know, the, despite all, all of the oppression, all right, that they used, they, they, they came in the name of Jesus Christ, despite all of that, this book is for us, man, once you understand it properly, okay, once you can comprehend it, okay? So that was the point on that, all right? Once again, it, it, it takes it takes faith to believe in this book, man, you know? And what, it, it comes with hardship as well, too. All right, it comes with endurance. It, it, it comes with, 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 with you know, the, it, it comes with trials. All right, not going off and serving other gods, bro. All right, let me get this. It's like it just bear with me. Let me get this. Yep, yeah, let me get this in the book of James, chapter 1, verse 21. It says, Wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superflu superfluity of, of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your souls. It says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves, man. Okay, and, and, and there you go, and that's what we're supposed to do in this ministry, man. That's, 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 that's one of our main goals. All right, laying off the, the, the filthiness, the conversation of this world, okay? The conversation of the old man, the past you, the you that was in the world, you know? Doing all manner of unrighteousness, okay? And a part of that is, is serving these other gods, man, all right? Now, from that mosque, they, they had let me, you know, grab it for free or whatever the case, because I, I asked them, I was like, hey, can I buy this? So, I and this doesn't mean, this is not a video saying that I'm converting to Islam, all right, I just, I just, you know, bought this um, English Quran and things of that nature, just, just to, you know, go over certain things that it says in the Quran that that came from the scriptures, man. All right, giving you even more proof that these Ishmaelites, these so-called Arabs, stole our customs, our heritage, okay, and and made their own thing, man, made their own gods, okay. But let me get this and um. I don't even damn know how to how to read this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just do the best of what I got, man. All right, let me get this. It's not it. It's not bees. It's this one right here. So this is on page 88. It says the Clear Quran series. It says a thematic English translation. Okay, and here's how it looks. All right, so this is on page 88. Okay. It says um, seven, I guess that's chapter seven. It says the heights. Then it says Al Araf. Al Araf. All right. I guess it's chapter seven of book seven. Al Araf. All right. The heights. Then it says uh, helpless gods. All right. Now, this helpless gods, you know, subtitle is talking about the gods of the other nations, man. It's talking about the gods of the other nations. All right. Which, which, you know, this is hypocritical because Ishmael, all right, they, they worship, they worship a rock. They worship the uh, the Kaaba stone, all right? They worship a rock, you know? It says, uh, the subtitle, like I said, in, I guess, book seven, The Heights, Al-Araf, it says, helpless gods. It says, do they associate? Yeah, I guess book seven, uh, I guess it's verse 191. It says, do they associate with God, whose idols, which cannot create anything, but are in fact created, okay? Which the scriptures say that. The scriptures say that. I put a little bit of precepts here, and I'm gonna go into them through the spirit. It says, do they associate with God, those idols which cannot create anything, but are in fact created, which cannot help them or even help themselves? And if you idolaters call upon them for guidance, they cannot respond to you. It is all the same whether you call them or remain silent. 
those idols you invoke besides God are created beings like yourselves. So call upon them and see if they will answer you, if your claims are true. Do they have feet to walk with, or hands to hold with, or eyes to see with, or ears to hear with? Say, O prophet, call upon your associate gods and conspire against me without delay. All right, so once again, this, this is in the Quran, okay? Now, 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 you know, brothers and sisters who watch this video, I'm, I'm already sure y'all thinking of precepts like, well, what? The scriptures say that. Because the scriptures do say that. These other gods are no gods, man. But once again, the hypocrisy of these Ishmaelites, all right, these Yashima Alayim, all right, these, these Ishmaelites, the hypocrisy is what? They, they, they worship the Kaaba stone, all right, they bow to the Kaaba stone over there in Mecca. Okay? So, 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 so what, man? Let me get, let me get this first. Let me get this first in the book of Exodus, because I said I'd be going back to it. Let me get this first in the book of Exodus, chapter 20. I'm going to just get to the point. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. It says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. All right? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That's saved the Lord, man. All right? Because once again, Yahweh, he is. All right? And there's no other gods beside him. You know? We're not supposed to be serving these other gods. All right? We're not supposed to be taking on their customs. Once again, pursuant to Jeremiah, the 10th chapter. It says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Verse 4, Exodus 20 and 4. It says, Thou shalt make, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. All right, so the instructions of the Heavenly Father is very clear. He say, you're supposed to have no other gods, no other powers before me. Okay? I created everything, man. All right? And the Heavenly Father did. He created everything. All right, from the least things in the, in the, in the world to the greatest. Okay? Verse 5, it says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. And what? You got a lot of our people involved and what, a, a, a zodiac and astrology and shit, man. Okay? Talking about that uh, they're a Pisces or they're a Cancer or they're Aries and all of this other shit, man. Zodiac signs. All right? You got a lot of our people involved in that bullshit. But what? That, that, that's, that's not for us. That's not a part of our customs. You know? And they take their little daily readings and so on and so forth through, uh, 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 for the day and then they go about it. You know? Oh, well, because I'm an Aries or I'm a Taurus, I have to do this or I have to be like this and so on and so forth. They just, they just what they, they don't want to keep accountability uh, on themselves whenever they do wrong, you know, and especially uh, uh, for, for our women, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American women, man, that's, that's mainly, that's mainly uh, on them. Okay. It says, Exodus 20 and 5, it says, thou shalt not, it says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I the Lord thy God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me alright so there you go man okay the, 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 the scriptures say what uh, the, the, the most high is a jealous God man and the scriptures say in the book of Proverbs that the what jealousy is the rage of a man okay so because we went up because Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and pull it real quick. All right. And of course, of course, the Most High is jealous, man. He created us for himself. So why, so, so why would he not want us to worship and serve and be uh, 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 um, obedient, okay, to him? You know, let me get this in the book of Jeremiah, going back to Jeremiah, okay, Jeremiah chapter 3, you could you could really start at verse 1, but I'm going to just get to the point. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Surely as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, meaning what? Stepping out on him, going, going to sleep with, with another man outside of her husband, okay, which is against the scriptures, which would be adultery, okay? It says, Surely as a wife treacherously departed from her husband, so have you dealt treacherously with me, O house of Israel, saith the Lord. So there you go, man. Okay? Because in the scriptures... That the heavenly father likened us unto a comely and delicate woman all right the lord likened us unto his wife okay so israel the so-called negroes latinos the native americans we're married unto the most high and he's married unto us 
So when we went up and started serving other gods, he jacked us up, man. Okay? He jacked us up because ultimately all of Israel, all right, uh, 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 disrespected, all right, and, and quote unquote cheated on the most high. You know, all of us committed adultery, man. All right, that's why we're all worthy of death, but what? Through, through Yahweh Shai, all right, the grace and mercy, all right, who the world calls Jesus Christ, we've obtained, we've uh, obtained back the mercies, all right, in the grace of the Heavenly Father, you know? Now, not all of Israel is going to submit back to the Most High and things of that nature, but what? That's why there's a remnant. There's a remnant that's going to be saved, okay? That was the point on that, all right? So, um, going back to the point in Exodus, all right, Exodus uh, 20. And five, it says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. All right, and once again, you got a lot of our people who hate the Heavenly Father, man. Okay? Now, let me get this real quick. And um, this is the book of from Babylon to Timbuktu, right? All right, talking about, you know, Ishmael. Yashema Allah, uh, Yashema Allah, all right, which means uh, uh, hear me God, and things of that nature. All right, these Ishmaelites, by, by, by way of Mohammed, okay, they, they took the scriptures, they took our heritage and created their own out of it, okay? So from Babylon to Timbuktu, let me get this, and it's in the chapter, let me see. I think this is the right chapter yeah 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 this is the right chapter this is the right chapter this is in the chapter this is chapter four all right chapter four okay on page well technically 33 all right it says the original black jews okay so i'm gonna just read some key points all right concerning all um, concerning ishmael matter of fact hold up is this the one yeah, yeah, it's still the same chapter. All right? So, so like it, this is page 44. This is page 44. All right? Babylon, from Babylon to, from Babylon to Timbuktu, page 44. All right, it says the birth of Islam. So, you know, the birth, the origins, where it was created, how it was created, okay? It says, at the time of the birth of Muhammad, what were the international events or conditions? This says, what were the international events or conditions operating? The answer to this question is necessary for a comprehension of the rapid emergence of the Mohammedan Empire. It says the Roman Empire at the birth of Mohammed was divided into two parts. The Western Empire with the capital at Rome and the Byzantine Empire with the capital at Constantinople. It says the Roman Empire in the West collapsed AD 476 after many barbarian raids and incursions. The Germanic tribes crossed the borders and penetrated into all the territory of the Western Empire, including Africa. All right, so that was that was really the point on that. Okay, so what the, the Roman Empire already divided. Okay, kind of like how America is right now. You know, with, with this with this two-party government system. All right, you got the, the Democrats and Republicans. All right, Rome was divided. Same thing. Same the same exact way how America is divided today. Right. Now let me get this. Okay. Let me get this. All right, on page 46 it says the first stage of the uh, of the Islamic revolution. All right, on page 46. All right, at the bottom it says um Muhammad spent many days in the hills outside of Mecca. He was immersed deeply in the deplorable conditions of his people and he wanted to lead them away from moral turpitude and idolatry. It seemed to him that the angel Gabriel appeared commissioning him to articulate a new religion to substitute for the old, okay? So now whether this is true or not, all right, because we wasn't exactly there for it, but what, there are many accounts in the scriptures of angels going up to our people and other people, okay? Giving them some some, some type of advice, man. So this whole Islam thing, all right, if, if, if this is true, and the angel Gabriel did appear to him, okay, then what? Uh, Islam is supposed to be in existence, okay? It's supposed to be, 
uh, 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 in existence. It's supposed to be out there in the world, but we're not supposed to serve it, man. All right, we're not supposed to worship. We're not supposed to serve, uh, uh, um, serve in Islam. We're not supposed to be Muslims and things of that nature. Okay. And then it says what? It says, and he wanted to lead them away from moral turpitude and idolatry, which once again, as I said in the beginning, they serve a black rock, all right, which is called the Kaaba stone, all right? They serve Allah and, and the Kaaba stone, man. All right, that's 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 polytheism. you serving two gods. How are you serving Allah and, and a damn rock, okay? Now I'm gonna jump down. It says, with these words, it says, with these words, the first phase of the Islamic revolution began. La ilaha Allah Allah Muhammad Rasul Allah. It says, there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the prophet of Allah. Okay, which Muhammad, him being an Ishmaelite, okay, and, 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 and I'm gonna get into it, but what? Once again, he took these customs from our people, man, because within this within this chapter, it talks about how what? He went. And he and he learned under under certain Jews, man. He went and learned under Jews. He went and learned under Israelites. Okay, he went into different nations, inquiring of them about their customs. Okay, but what the the, the, the Israelite customs fascinated him the most. Okay, it talks about that in his book, right? Reading on page forty-seven at the top, it says, incidentally, by this time the Hebrew Old Testament had been translated into Arabic. And the Arabs were rapturously pleased to read about their great ancestors in the story of the Hebrew patriarchs. Because what Ishmael, Yashima Allah, all right, which which once again means mean uh, 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 God hear me, all right, or power here or hear me power, okay. It says they were pleased to read about their great ancestors in the story of the Hebrew patriarchs. This fact alone helped Muhammad to inspire in the Arabs. The feeling of nationalism and racial pride because they had read in the hebrew scripture that ismail that ishmael was to become a great nation which yes it, the scriptures do say that the scriptures do say that okay let me get this real quick all right concerning ishmael right this is the book of genesis The scriptures did say that Ishmael, Yashima Allah, would become a great nation, man. Okay? The scriptures do say that. But let me get this right here. In the book of Genesis, chapter 16, verse 11. It says, um... Let me see, where can I start at? Yeah, Genesis, chapter 16... Verse 11, it says, And the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. All right, now this is pertaining to the situation between Abraham, Sarah, and, and Hagar. All right, because Sarah at the time, she was she was barren. All right, she was unable to bear children. Okay, she was, she was unfruitful. Okay, which is the history of, of really all of our foremothers, man. All right, from, from Abraham's wife to Isaac's wife to Jacob's wife, okay? All of our foremothers, uh, to a certain, to, uh, up until a certain point in time, they were barren. All right, so Hagar, being, being a, a concubine of Abraham, okay? Sarah told Abraham to pop Hagar so that way what? Their first child would be produced, okay? But Sarah, in, in her uh, 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 envy and jealousy and things of that nature, what? She, 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 you know, she gave Hagar a boot, all right? She gave Hagar a boot. You know, told her to told her to go and did what? Abraham, Abraham, you know, uh, sent her away, you know, with, with, with a little bit of food and water. All right. It said, it's like it. Sarah's name was called Sarai at the time, you know. It says, um, verse 11, Genesis 16 and 11, it says, And the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, said unto her, Behold, thou art with child and shalt bear a son. And shall call his name Ishmael because the Lord have heard thy affliction. And once again, that's what Ishmael means, man. All right. God hear me or, or hear me God. Okay. Talking about the affliction of Hagar. Okay. And, and what Ishmael is, is going through, you know, as, as a race in general, man. It's like they're, they're seeking the most high. They want to know the most high. But what? The most high all right, is, is the God of Israel, not of them. Okay. 
And if and if you if you if you say Yasarala and Yasamala, okay, which is uh Israel and Ishmael, it, it kind of sounds the same, bro. It kind of sounds the same. Okay. One thing to keep in mind that the Ishmael came before uh Israel became a nation. All right, the nation of Israel came before Israel actually became a nation. You know, we 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 ain't become a nation until until uh, our forefather Jacob. All right. It says, and he, verse 12, Genesis 16 to 12, it says that he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Verse 13, it says, let me see. It said, yep, it says, verse 13, it says, and she shall, and she called the name of the Lord, Yahweh, that spake unto her, Thou God seest me, for she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Now I'm going to jump down to verse 15. Genesis 16 and 15. It says that Hagar bare Abram a son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Okay? So, so there you go, man. Okay? Let me see. Um, it's like I'm trying to look for the scripture where it says uh, uh, Ishmael would be great. Yep. Genesis. Um, this is in Genesis 17. Verse 18, it says, in Abraham, okay, so now Abraham, he went from Abram, all right, to, to Abraham, which means father of a multitude, okay? So Genesis 17 and 18, it says, and Abraham said unto the Most High, oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. Yeah, because, you know, that's, that's, that's his son. That's Abraham's son. Once again, this is before Israel was established, okay? It says, and Abraham said unto the Most High, oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And the Most High said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him. Okay? So so what? After Ishmael was born, all right, the, the, the Most High told, told uh, uh, Abraham that, that what? He was going to establish his covenant within Isaac. Okay? So it wasn't Ishmael. Ishmael is not the true chosen people. All right? These Arabs are not the true chosen people. Even though they, they got like this, this godly... You know, a godly seeming personality, and they got the real calm and collected, cool nature, and Allah this and Allah that, and they say Ak and things of that nature. All right, they are not the true chosen people, man. Okay, even with the ancient world mentality, the women being modest, and they, they wearing the uh, the um the, uh, the 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 loose clothing as we're supposed to be wearing. These are not the true chosen people, man. All right, the heavenly Father's covenant was established in Isaac. Okay, I just read it. It says, verse 19, it says, And the Most High said, Genesis 17 and 19, And the Most High said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son indeed. Once again, because Sarah was barren at the time. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant and with his seed after him. Okay, once again, going into Jacob and Israel. Verse 20, it says, And as for Ishmael, okay, so, so what? Let's talk about these so-called Arabs, right? It says, and as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and I will make him fruitful, and I will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Verse 21, and here's the point. So, so, so once again, and I'm going to get back into that in a second, right? Now check this out. What did the book say? From Babylon to book 2, what did it say? It says, this fact alone helped, no, Salakia. It says, incidentally, by this time, the Hebrew Old Testament had been translated into Arabic, and the Arabs were rapturously pleased to read about their great ancestors in the story of the Hebrew patriarchs. This fact alone helped Muhammad to inspire in the Arabs the feeling of nationalism and racial pride because they had read in the Hebrew scripture that Ishmael, that Ishmael was to become a great nation. So and I just got it for you in the scriptures. I just got it for you in the scriptures, man. All right. So, yes, Ishmael did become a great nation. 
he did multiply. All right, then it, it said what? 12 princes shall come out of uh, Ishmael, man. Okay, that's why when you look at the Middle East and things of that nature, you got a whole bunch of so-called Arabs, okay? And things of that nature over there in that area, man. Saudi Arabia, Iran, etc., etc. Okay? Because what? That's 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 their lot. That's their land. Okay? So the Most High, he did bless Ishmael and make Ishmael fruitful. He did cause Ishmael to multiply and to become a great nation, but they are not the true chosen people. That's what, that's, and that's what what? Started with the elders and the apostles. That's what we have to continue to get across to you Jakes, man. Okay? Like all that Islam shit, that's not us. Okay? Which like I said, I'm, I'm going to go into it. All right? Um, verse 21, Genesis 17 and 21. It says, but my covenant, but my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. So around the same time in the following year, what? Isaac was born. Okay? Isaac, Yatazachach, which means he laughs. All right, and there's a whole story behind that. I had did a video on it through the spirit, but I'm not going to go into everything. But for what? Through Isaac, through Isaac, all right, Yahweh Shemashah established, all right, the, the covenant, the agreements, the law, statutes, and the commandments with Israel. All right? So, that, so, 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 so what? There you go, man. All right, that was the point on that. So going back to uh, Babylon and Timbuktu, 2, okay? Let me get this. Okay, on page 48. All right. Under the, the, the subtitle, Islam and Judaism, it says the Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws from the Jewish religion, all right, which were not Jewish. Okay. The term Jew goes back to, to, to Judah, all right, which goes back to the Paleo Hebrew Yahweh, which means Yahweh thinks. That's just one tribe, and we're not Ish. All right, we're the real Jews, man. Okay. And it's this this 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Judah is just one tribe. Okay. It says the Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles. Listen, listen. The Prophet Muhammad adopted many principles and laws from the Jewish religion. First of all, the basic idea of monotheism. All right. Because it tells you in the same chapter that Muhammad found the people of Mecca and his own people, what? Worshiping other gods. All right. Being polytheistic. Okay. It says, the Jewish confession of the unity of the Most High is Shemai Israel Adonai Alehenu Adonai Ahad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Which this goes back to Deuteronomy 6 and 4. Let me just go ahead and pull it. Right? Let me get this in the uh, 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 book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 6, verse 4, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Okay, and, and I do this at the beginning of my uh, my, uh, my, my my camp lessons. Okay, Shema Yasharallah, Yahweh, Allah Nawah, Yahweh Achud. Okay, that's how you would say that in the Paleo Hebrew. Okay, now check this out, right? So I made mention of that. So going back, it says, The Jewish confession of the unity of the Most High is, or, or of God is, Shemai Israel, I deny, Elohinu, I deny Ahad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. It says, the Ma 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 Mohammedan slogan is as follows: La, La Allah, La Allah, Allah Allah, Muhammad Rasul Allah. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the Prophet of Allah. So what? They took that from us. They took that from us, Jake. But here it is. Y'all still want to go off and, and serve Allah, which a lot of y'all don't even know what, what Allah means, man. So here it is. You serving a God. You don't even know his name or what his name means or even where it came from. Okay. Allah just simply means uh, power or God. Allah does mean God, but what a God is a title. The scriptures call us gods. Okay. Well, what the, the most high one true God, all right, because what they, they they believe in monotheism, which they don't, but but they they that's what they uh, you know adopted the principle from us, okay? They they them claiming that monotheism, you got to know the name of your God, you got to know the name of your power, all right? The name God is well, the title God is, is just a title, as I said, 
There's just a title. It's not a name. Okay? So them calling on Allah, they're just saying power or God. But there's what there's many gods, man. Okay? It says there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the prophet of Allah. It says Muhammad adopted also the main details of the Jewish calendar, the Day of Atonement, the Sabbath, much of the Bible, and narratives from the Madrash, and many points of the ritual law. Incidentally, the Jews pray three times a day facing the city of Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah, facing the east. All right, when we pray, yes, that, that is what we're supposed to be doing. That is what we do, right? It says, incidentally, the Jews pray three times a day facing the city of Jerusalem, and the Muslims... True believers pray five times a day facing the city of Mecca. Once again, where the hell do you think they get this from? All right, and it's written right here in this book, man. It says, trying his best, Muhammad sought to convert the Jews to his new religion, but to no avail. And it's just, it's one of those things, like I said in the beginning, here it is. You got, you got our people, the unbelievers, okay, going to serve, you know, Allah going into, you know, Islam. The Islamic religion Or whatever the case And they took it from us Okay They took the customs Their teachings From us bro I got it for you In, in, in the, the The clear Quran <laughs> Okay It says Trying his best Muhammad sought to convert The Jews to his new religion But to no avail Meaning what It didn't work It says The Jews were adamant And resistant to change Which is that's how we're supposed to be. The scriptures talk about not being tossed to and fro with, with diverse doctrines, man. Okay? It says the Jews were adamant and resistant to change because, what well, we have our own uh, culture and heritage, man. It says the high esteem which the prophet held for the Jews was transformed into enmity, and instead of allies, he looked upon them as competitors. It's like, how the hell are you going to look at us as, as competitors and try, try to convert us and then look at us as, as competitors when you stole your whole thing from us? That's the problem with these Arabs, man, because they're real fucking cocky people too, man. These Ishmaelites. They're very fucking cocky, bro. Very proud, very arrogant, you know? And then on top of that, because smoking is not a part of our customs, what? I, I'll be seeing some of these, these, these Muslims, what, they be smoking? Big fat ass cigars, okay? Then what? They they grow they 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 their hair real long, and things of that nature. They 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 uh they um they uh they 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 mark the corners of their beards, which is against the scriptures. But what? They 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 took our customs from us, all right? You gonna take our customs from uh customs from us and then turn it into your own thing, man? Okay? That's why the Lord specifically told us, all right, not to what have any other gods before him. Because when you serve other gods, you start doing strange things like smoking and growing your hair long, okay, and, and uh, getting lineups and shit, okay? It says, and some of them, uh, shit, died ahead. Like I said, there was a Jake, the Jake that I saw in front of that Muslim mosque and things of that nature. He had an orange colored fucking beard, bro. You know, that's bugged out, bro. That's not proper etiquette for a man. It says the Jews were adamant and resistant to change. The high esteem which the prophet held for the Jews was transformed into enmity. And instead of allies, he looked upon them as competitors. Muhammad needed the confirmation of the influential Jews to validate his mission. As all upstarts need the backing of someone in influential. Salaki, it says, as all upstarts need the backing of someone influential. All right, what? We was influential to Muhammad, or who was an Ishmaelite. It says Muhammad therefore turned against the Jews and became their tormentor. Okay, which 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 is why what you had the 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 uh the uh, the transatlantic slave trade uh, slave trade, or you had the uh, Ishmael, or who are merchant men, which the scriptures talk about that. All right, the sons of Ishmael. All right, they are merchant men, and they they did sell us into slavery. You can read about that in the time of uh, 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 Joseph, man. All right, in the story of Joseph, okay, you had Judah and, and the rest of the the, the tribes, all right, who who sold Joseph into slavery, all right, to the to the Ishmaelites, man, and those Ishmaelites, all right, those Arabs sold us, uh, sold Joseph, to the Egyptians, the so-called Africans today. Okay, this is all history, bro. This is all history. Okay.
so so uh, for, uh, coming up, you know, uh, in, in, in the more modern times, once again, the transatlantic slave trade, okay, you had Ishmael, all right, the so-called Arabs who was taking our people and selling us to these other nations, man, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Greeks, okay, the Spanish, it was the, it's the, it was the same exact thing, man, these Ishmaelites, these Arabs, they did the same exact thing, all right, and what, they, 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 they built the slave ships too, they built the slave ships as well, okay, and they what, they sold us off to these other nations, man, for profit, all right, merchant men, when you look at these Ishmaelites, these Arabs over here in America, what, they set up shop and they start going in, you got to go to them for, for certain essential oils, and well, more pure oils, more pure incense, okay, more pure food, and things of that nature, they come over to America, they set up shop, okay, and then what, you got certain brothers like we, we gotta we gotta rely on them for certain resources, man. That's that's hell. That is hell, man. Because the world was created for our sakes, as the scriptures say. Okay. But what we gotta go to these other nations to get more more pure elements, so to speak. Okay. I'm gonna get this on page forty nine. And then I'm going to drop it. It says, Muhammad tried to construct his religion as closely as he could after the Jewish religion. So there you go. Once again, they stole our customs, made it their own, and then tried to convert us. And when we couldn't, when he saw, when they saw that we couldn't be converted, you know, they, they, uh, 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 they turned into our enemies, man. They turned into our enemies, man. Okay? That's why these other nations... For their crimes, for their atrocities and animosity against us, all right, they have, they, they, that's exactly why they're going to be in slavery, man. They have to get punished. They got to get jacked up too, okay? It says he favored the Jews by accepting many of their laws and traditions. When the Jews refused to be converted, he commanded his followers to stop turning to the holy city of Jerusalem in prayer, but rather turn to the city of Mecca. He changed the Jewish Yom Kippur, which is Yom Kippur, which means Day of Atonement. It says, which he had accepted for the month of Ramadan, okay, which which that actually just passed. I think it was like last month. You know, the the, the, the month of um uh, April was their, their Ramadan. You know, their, their uh, atonement and fasting month. It says, Muhammad changed the Jewish Sabbath from Saturday to Friday, which... And I'm not going to go... I'm not going to, you know, go into a whole, you know, rant about this book, but... As in what's coming up now in Israel, what's hot in Israel right now, apart from the, you know, going in on the wickedness of our women, all right, you, you got what? These other camps teaching that the Sabbath falls on a Saturday, which is false. The Sabbath is dictated by the new moon, okay? It's dictated by the new moon. All these days of the weeks, they go back to, to Egyptian, Greek, and Roman gods, man, okay? The Sabbath is dictated by the new moon, all right? But going back to the point, it says, Muhammad changed the, the Jewish Sabbath from Saturday to Friday. We have another parallel with Christianity. In the 4th century, the church changed the Sabbath to Sunday and reorganized its calendar to make Easter, as I mentioned earlier, separate of Passover. Like Christianity, also, Muhammad included in his Bible, the Quran, accusations concerning the Jews. Nevertheless, the Quran glorifies many biblical personalities. So, so what? Long story short, they're hurt. They're hurt because they're not the chosen people, man. All right? They're very hurt. They're very bitter and sour because they're not the, the, the true chosen people. And the Lord didn't, didn't choose them for himself. Okay? Once again, Ishmael did become great. The so-called Arabs, they did become a great nation. They did max very, very mighty. Okay? But what? The Lord did not choose them. You know? And it also says in Babylon the Temple 2 that, that Mohammed... Okay, he he what he went about killing everybody in 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 the name of Islam. Okay, which the scriptures talk about. And I read it. I got it early in the book of Genesis. Ishmael is a wild man. His hand shall be against every man. All right, that's why you got what the jihadists. Okay, that's why you got the the jihadists, the the, the Muslim extremists, and things of that nature, the, the suicide bombers, so to speak. Okay, what they do, they they go about killing people. All right, and, and themselves in the name of Allah, bro. All right, and that's exactly what, what Muhammad did. He, he he turned into a whole terrorist in, in the name of, of Islam. Okay? 
let me get this going back to um the clear Quran okay what did I leave off at it says um still in I guess like I said I guess it's a uh, book seven the heights al araf on um verse 195 it says matter of fact I'll start at 194 I'll, I'll I'll jump back to 194 it says those idols you invoke besides the most high are created beings like yourselves so call upon them and see if they will answer you once again that goes back this literally goes back to the scriptures and I'm gonna pull it in a second it says so call upon them and see if they will answer you if your claims are true okay let me pull this where they got that from right let me pull this in the book Salakia. let me put this in the book of judges okay and there's many many scriptures are uh, saying this but the first one that came to mind was the book of judges this is the book of judges chapter 10 And I'm going to start at verse 13, okay? This is where they get that, that you know, go cry to the gods and so on and so forth. This is the scripture where they get that from, man. This is the book of Judges chapter 10, verse 13. It says, Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. Meaning what? The Lord said what? That he wasn't going to save us from, from a, a, a captivity, man, unless we went back to serving him. Okay? Which is exactly what's going on right now, right? Verse 14. It says, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. So that's where um, uh, book 7, Al-Araf, all right, 194, 195, that's where they get uh, that, 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 whole, that whole, you know, um, uh, portion from. They get it from this scripture right here. Go and cry to the other gods you have chosen, Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? And it's still going on to this very day. Once again, a lot of our people are, are you know, uh, going to Islam and really these, these, these other, you know, wayward doctrines and philosophies that are not of our own, okay? But that's where they get that from, man, eh? okay? But, but what? We, we, us being in the truth, us knowing the name of the Heavenly Father, our having the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, and us knowing our heritage and where we come from, Okay, and the things that we know about ourselves, our brethren, and, and how we're scattered, and how we're on punishment, us knowing this, we have to remain adamant in this truth, man. Okay, I had another scripture up here. All right, let me get this in the book because, once again, I, I it, it, like I said in the beginning, Israel, we have a whole history of serving other gods, man. Okay. Serving other gods, burning incense to other gods, making, you know, little altars and shrines for, for the gods of the other nations, man. All right? Like that account in the book of Exodus. We've been doing this since, since the beginning, bro. Since the beginning. Listening to other doctrines and philosophies. We've been doing this since the beginning of time, man. Starting with Adam and Eve, bro. We've been doing this before Israel was even established. All right? And that's why what we fell from our, our pure estate. And that's why we're defiled now. Because we went off serving other gods, bro. Let me get this in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2. And that's how you know that we're the chosen people today. Because not only do we uh, excel in everything we do, but what? You can look at the wicked side too. Just what? we, You know, we excel in wickedness as well. We excel in wickedness and righteousness, man. And we're disobedient. We're hard-headed as hell. All right? Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 27. It says, saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. Once again, these Ishmaelites, they, they worship the Kaaba stone, all right, which is which is a, a very black stone, which the, the, um, the word Kaaba in Arabic, if I'm not mistaken, it means Q. It's a big-ass block. It's, it's, it's telling you in, in its name, Kaaba stone, all right, it's a cube. It's a big-ass block. But the scriptures say what? And this is what the, the Muslims of our people, you know, uh, 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 have been forced to worship. Okay? And now choosing to worship. Willingly choosing to worship. It says, saying to a stock, Jeremiah 2 and 27, saying to a stock, 
thou art my father, and to a stone thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble they will say, Arise and save us. Verse 28, here's another scripture. It says, But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy gods, O Judah. So there you go, bro. Another scripture. Another scripture on, on, on what this, this, this book was saying. All right, go and cry to the other gods that you have chosen, man. They, they stole that from us. They stole it from us. Okay? And that's why we are not to, to, to indulge and envelop ourselves in these wayward, these other doctrines and philosophies, man. Because it's not for us. It's not meant for us. We have our own. All right? But let me get this. Continuing on to Jeremiah, then I'm going to close out because I really hit the point, man. I really hit the point. All right? Yashar Allah, Yashamaya, Allah, all right, is, Israel and Ishmael, okay? We're, 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 we're close this way for a reason, man. Like, I done met certain, I got a, I got an Ishmaelite friend at, at, the, at, at a chicken spot I be going to sometimes. And shit like that, I say what's up to him all the time. You know, I don't talk about the truth with him, of course, and things of that nature. But, you know, I just be peaceable. I be cordial with him. He done gave me free food sometimes. You know, he's, he's, a, real, he's a real cool dude. You know, he, he's very chill. And things of that nature, man. You know, it's because it's, it, the scriptures say what? Uh, uh, as much life within you, be peaceable with all men. As a matter of fact, let me get that before I close out. In the book of Romans, chapter 12. All right, yeah, you can be friends with, with, with these other nations, but don't go serve their gods. Just like you can have a woman. There's nothing wrong with having a woman in the truth, okay? But if she's worshiping another god or whatever the fucking, whatever it is, or she's, she's, she's involved in some witchcraft or whatever it is, man, don't go off and serve her other gods, man. That's what happened with King Solomon. That's exactly what happened with King Solomon, okay? He went off to serve the, the gods, of the many wives, I mean, of the many concubines he had, okay? That was the downfall of King Solomon, or th through a woman. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> okay? But let me get this in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 18. It says, if it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Okay, so, so there's nothing wrong, once again, being friends, being cordial, being peaceful with these other nations. All right, outside of Israel, there's nothing wrong with them. If you got an Elamite friend or Ishmaelite friend, there's nothing wrong with having them as a friend and things of that nature. But what you just always keep in mind that even though I'm, it, it, it might be a brother because what Israel is scattered, it might be a brother, but, they, but what we, we got to regard them as heathen, man. All right, we're gonna see them in the kingdom, they're gonna be our slaves, man. Okay, and that's fact. Now, let me get this in the book of Jeremiah and I'm gonna close out. Jeremiah chapter 3, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 13, it says, Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, Yahweh, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, save the Lord. Turn, O backsliding children, save the Lord. It says, And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and will bring you to Zion. Okay, and that's exactly what's about to happen to our people. All right, to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, the Lord is going to take us and bring us to Zion. All right, which is our dwelling place. You know, Israel, the land of Israel in the Middle East. Okay, Yahweh Shem is going to put us back in our, in our righteous estate. All right, and we're not going to sin anymore, man. And that's what we wait for. We, wait, we, we want our people to get out of these, these wicked doctrines and philosophies. Okay. We want our people to get out of Islam, all right? But um, that was really the point on that, all right? I know I I, I know I winded it out a little bit, but um, you know I, that's it's just hey, the, the wind blew for a list of right, you know. But uh, Lord's willing, this was edifying and informative to the sincere Akim Wakwathian brothers and sisters out there, okay? You know who who uh, tune in to you know Great Millstone and and brother channels as well. I'm gonna say Kohala Yimla Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rachak Badash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Muslim who rule up for teaching me the truth. Salutations to the elect, man. Shalom.